Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. The Equinox expansion has released. We've got the custom skins. As you can see here, I've just grabbed straight away the custom skin for the Purifier. The Canid skin. The one I've been waiting so long for. I've made videos all back in 2020 asking for this skin of this ship. And finally, now it's possible. So I made my own skin, which is basically the same colors as the Canid skin. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys how this works. There's a lot of cool new things out of the Equinox expansion. We can get more escalations for Null Secolomides, lots of new PI stuff. Right now, I've not been really digging too much into that. I've been focusing mainly on the skin customization because that's, in my opinion, my absolute favorite part of this update. I know a lot of people don't care at all, but I want to show you guys how it works. So this is how it works. You go in to the sequence skins. It is very similar to the idea that I proposed a long time ago using Plex to make your skins. But what you can do is in this hub here, you can create your own skins. Now, I've not been able to find a way. There could be a way that I'm not aware of, but I I can only see it being possible to edit the skins of the ships you're in right now. So you have to own the ship to be able to make a skin for it. I can't find a way to make a skin design of a ship you don't own. So if we're going to the studio here, like this, and then we go here and then we click create new design and then that's where it comes to the customization part so you can change the primary color different colors here and then you can change the secondary color for example this one here green blue there's also metallic colors as well if you want to have a bit more different kinds of colors you can get gold and even here I think this would look good here, black, and then you go with a bit of gold. That would look pretty cool. I like the look of that, but personally, I prefer the uh, silver color. And then you got the detailing slot, which is like the underneath parts. You can see the stuff that's not the actual whole armor plates. You can see you got detailing, like all these small like, lines in between. You can even have something like that. And then the, this is sorry, this is the tech one. This is the one is underneath here. You can see this color down below. And then you can make very cool patterns, going different patterns here, and you can change it very uh, to a big degree of customization where it applies this pattern. <laughs> so I think it's pretty cool. Because like I said, only affects certain areas of the ship, and you can give it different colors as well. But very nice to see, and you can change the angle as well. I don't mess too much with these kind of patterns. I like the plain colors in my opinion. This orbit and everything. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> if we go into the design elements, you go into the edit design, then you can change the colors and there's a set amount of colors you've got. You can buy new colors, but there's only a limited amount of uses per color. So I have bought a few of these sacred stone matte uh, colors skins and then this means I can use it here and if we were to create this skin then I'll use up one of these so you can think of it like that you buy them the colors and then you got a limited amount and then you can use them on a skin so you can see some of these this is like infinite you got a limited of these but then this one is a limited so you got only three of them and this is the telling me what I've got so sorry this is not where you buy stuff this is in the paragon hub and design elements because you see it's very similar see collection of design elements it's the paragon hub here you can buy you see because plex plex for the different design elements here so you can buy these and different patterns as well so you can if you want to get like camo style as well look at this so you can get caliber see this here very cool quite expensive 100 plex but it's just the way it is these people are earning a lot of money and i think they deserve it for this uh so say we have this skin here let's say we create skin then to create the skin it requires both plex and then it also requires these items these are pretty cheap they initially costed a lot on day one but these are pretty cheap items you see it's thermionic sequencer you just go here you can just buy a few of these. You can get these from events as well, but I've never really keep an up-to-date where you get them from. I just buy them directly from the shop here. And then you buy also these curse sequences as well. Same thing, you just buy them here. And then you click start sequencing. And then when you start to sequence a skin, then that's when the skin ends up in the, st in the studio here. You see this? I've got Retribution Canage skin that I've made. As you can see here being uh, 
made and I like it. It reminds me of like a basically a copy of the the Vengeance. It's very cool. But you know, I now can finally have a matching skin. So look, my purifier and then my my retribution will look the same. So cool. And I can then now finally have the Vengeance skin on the Retribution because I use the Retribution much more than the Vengeance. It's really nice. It takes time to sequence the skins. You can pay extra plex and you can get it done quicker. It's quite costly. It only takes like two days. You do have skills which I should actually get. I've not uh, managed to get them yet. But they are sequencing, I believe it's called sequencing. Yeah, see here. Do you see this sequencing here? So this is stuff you can get that can affect what you do. So it increases maximum skins per sequencing job to five. It's, it's very similar to, you know, industry. It improves the amount of stuff you can do. Yeah, so you can seem to get a lot of buffs here. But I think this is only if you want to make lots and lots of the skin sequencing at once but i think it's all right i don't worry too much about it now but probably later i'll be wanting to do that because i only got one here i wonder how much does this skill but cost is a lot you could check the price of these skins because sometimes these kind of ones are very expensive buy one million okay it's not that bad so let's see if we can buy some of these skills sequencing let's see which is the cheapest here 40 million 200 million requirements parallel sequencing is the one that's required here and this one doesn't require anything so parallel sequencing seems to be like the default skin and then it's either batch sequencing is also one we could also possibly get industrial sequencing requires mass sequencing how much does this cost 20 million 200 million but batch sequencing is the cheap skill. So let's get batch sequencing at least. Sequencing. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can check on the market. Does it exist on the market? I don't think it exists on the market actually. So we'll just get it directly. Buy and inject. 350 million. Whoa. 26 million. Whoa. 320. 52. Mass sequencing. And it only requires batch sequencing. Okay. So then we can just train all these skills and then it'll allow us to get some slightly more capable skin sequencing capabilities of our character here. But that, I would actually want to get this mass sequencing as well. Buy and inject, let's get this too. And then we've got this already going on. So this is the maximum skins per sequencing by an additional 25. Okay, nice. Spent a little bit of isk on that, but it's okay, we've got some to spare. Multi-threaded sounds interesting because it can in increase the amount of jobs. So I think this allows you to have more skin sequence per sequence. And then the other one allows you to have different individual ones, I believe. We'll see, we'll see. Eventually that'll come. But that is the skin R, the custom skins of the Equinox expansion. I wanted to show it to you guys. I think it's really cool. I love it so much looks really amazing. I don't want to have the blurry background on like that, but it's all right. It's an amazing one. The, probably my favorite update I've had in Evil Light for a really long time. Really, really long time. So I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. I know probably a lot of you guys think it's, it's silly why, how he's taking the skin stuff so seriously. But I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.